All right, welcome everybody to Energy Hour. My name is James and I'm here to bring you the scoop on energy. From energy drinks to pre-workouts, I'll dive into some of the key factors and review the taste and performance so you know what to expect. Uh, the first one we're gonna review here on the channel is going to be from Redcon, where you can't prepare for everything life throws at you, but you can always be ready. Uh, the first one that we are gonna do is Freedom Frost. Uh, Freedom Frost, as you can probably expect from the can, uh, is reminiscent or uh, tries to in take over the flavor from bomb pops uh, from your know, childhood memories there uh, what they have here is unapologetically delicious freedom frost is bursting with flavors from your favorite patriotic popsicle with a blast of blueberry lime and raspberry freedom frost will spark energy motivation and your innermost all-american attitude Diving into the review of the can itself, really nice label. I, I, I like the uh, digital camo that they have going on here. Uh, some of the key things about this particular energy drink, first and foremost, zero sugar, no artificial colors, as we'll see here in a moment, or calories. There are no calories in this at all. Uh, the first a key ingredient that I want to dive into, though, is L-carnitine. Uh, there's one gram of L-carnitine, which is a stimulant-free fat burner to help preserve muscle. Uh, it actually helps preserve muscle glycogen. Uh, glycogen is a form of glucose, a main source of energy that your body stores primarily in your liver and muscles. Uh, this means it is an essential fuel for intense exercise, whether it is aerobic or anaerobic exercise. And so that's going to be a key factor if you're using this uh, before a workout, for instance. Uh, L-carnitine also helps promote fat oxidation. Fat oxidation is the process in which the body breaks down fat into smaller molecules, which can be used as an energy source. Again, if we're using this particular energy drink before a workout instead of a pre-workout, um, that could come in very handy for uh, some individuals there. Uh, one study on L-carnitine actually concluded that supplementing one to four grams daily helped reduce lactate levels which if you're working out, we all know lactate, that burn that we're getting in our muscles, uh, it can help alleviate some of that, as well as lowering your heart rate and muscle soreness. So if you're not using this before a workout and you're using it after a workout, it may have an impact to how, how sore you are after your workouts. Uh, the next ingredient here that they have is there's 200 milligrams of alpha GPC. This is the nootropic, which helps improve memory, concentration, and energy levels to give you the boost motivation needed uh, to be always ready. Now, alpha GPC, uh, it does appear to increase uh, acetylcholine, and what that is is a transmitter that plays a role in memory, learning, attention, arousal, and voluntary and involuntary muscle movements. Uh, some medical conditions that actually are associated to low acetylcholine is Alzheimer's disease and myasthenia gravis. Uh, alpha GPC has been studied and has been used in test trials for Alzheimer's and stroke patients for the roles that it plays in both memory and muscle movement. So this uh, alpha GPC ingredient can definitely be useful uh, before your workouts, uh, or excuse me, while you're working out. Um, it's going to be a person by person basis depending on, or looking at the studies that have been done on alpha GPC. It may not always work for everybody in every situation. So just keep that in mind. All right. Uh, there's also a plethora of vitamin B6, B12, and B5 to supercharge your mood with natural B vitamins. All right. Uh, one of the things that I did want to touch on here, uh, specifically for Redcon, is uh, they donate to military charities. Uh, there's actually three charities that you can vote for on the Redcon's website, Redcon Energy, uh, Redcon1Energy.com slash vote. Uh, those charities are the Nine Line Foundation, 22 Warrior Foundation, and Canines for Warriors. Uh, this is what is currently uh, being voted on for this particular quarter in 2023. Uh, five cents of every can sold per quarter is what gets donated to the charity that is voted for. Um, this is something that I think is really cool of the company to do. Um, you know, veterans always need 
any help that that we can give them um, if they're not getting it from other places so if this is something that you may be passionate about definitely get out there and vote and uh, let's try to help some veterans out all right moving on to the last section we have here is our ratings uh, so we're going to go ahead and open up our very own can of Redcon Freedom Frost that we have here. Uh, let's go ahead and get that open. Pour it in our glass. All right, we got some good carbonation going on. Uh, as they stated in our, uh, excuse me, on their website, there's no artificial color. It is clear. very very much like a bomb pop there's no uh, artificial flavor to it there's no uh, chemical flavoring that you get from it you can taste all three flavors actually the blueberry the raspberry the lime uh, as far as like bomb pop flavoring of energy drinks and pre-workouts go I think this is probably the best bomb pop flavor out there if not top two. Uh, it's very nice flavor. So four flavors out of 10, I'd give it a nine out of 10. Uh, drinkability, uh, is this something that you could drink every single day? And I would, I would give it a 10 out of 10. Uh, this is something that I think is a flavor you would never get tired of. Um, they did a very good job on, on combining the three flavors there. Uh, caffeine, I have a, out of a possible three, they get a two. Uh, these have 200 milligrams of caffeine in them. Um, so I, for energy drinks, I've got tiered, uh, for one is anything less than 200 milligrams, a two is between 200 and 300 milligrams, and then a three is 300 plus milligrams. Uh, so this one only having 200 milligrams is going to get a two. Performance. Uh, how well does this energy drink help you before you're doing a workout, uh, before you're going to work? Uh, you know, you're going to go take the dog for a walk around the lake or a run. Um, I give this a 7 out of 10. Uh, it's, it's pretty solid as in terms of energy drinks go. Um, it definitely kept my, my mood going, uh, helped me stay motivated taking that dog, uh, my dog, excuse me, out for a run. Um, uh, 7 out of 10. It's pretty solid. And then price-wise, I give it a three out of five. Uh, normal price for these in my area are going for about $3 per can. Um, I think that's a little steep. I do try to find energy drinks and pre-workouts, uh, all of my supplements on the best possible deal that I can find these days. Um, so this one in particular, I did happen to get on sale for about $1.25 per can after discount codes. Um, if you can find it on sale, definitely worth the price even at three dollars it is worth the price uh, again i just think that's a little steep so three out of five on price which gives us an overall score of 31 out of 38. Uh, pretty solid energy drink we have here uh, if there's anything that you want me to review uh, the most obscure pre-workouts or energy drinks uh, that are hard to find nobody's done reviews on uh, one of your personal favorites Feel free to leave a comment and let me know, and we'll see if we can get a video done on those. All right, guys. Again, my name is James, and this is Energy Hour.